Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a early LEGO Minecraft 2023 set review. Today we are looking at set number 21246, this is the Deep Dark Battle and we'll be retailing for $64.99 USD or $84.99 Canadian. This was actually sent to me early by LEGO Slashland to do a review for. I believe it's going to be a retail exclusive, although we're not sure where it is and depending on your country, it's a different place for everyone but the Lego stores and Lego shop at home will have this set on January 1st. I have a lot to say about this. I love some parts of this and I'm disappointed by others. And the price though, I think the size of this set and the stuff you're getting, that's a pretty good price. But anyways, everyone, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a closer look at this set. So we're gonna start right here. We're not gonna work our way towards, so I wanna show you the best play feature in the set. It is incredible. The spawn in, of the warden it's slow it's scary this set does that here not the scary bit but the slow bit so what i'm gonna do is you just twist this here and he spawns in but what's crazy about this i don't know if you could see if i go fast <laughs> all right don't go too fast but my point is the speed in which that you do this it's delayed like it's it's got a bit of tension which is just so cool given how the warden spawns in rising from the ground here and it's this sort of slow thing i think is just incredible there because he's leaning back it's going on its own but you could see the tension that's a perfect way to show you that there's tension here he doesn't just go straight down there's tension in this in order for you to spawn him in and just to show you there uh, like that's look at that that's so cool actually a little creepy how it's just going on its own <laughs> And this is what it looks like here in the back. Uh, nothing too special going on there, but uh, yeah, the tension, incredible. All right, now let's actually work our way through and show you this build. First of all, do a quick 360 here just to give you the size of this. Like again, I think for the price that you're getting, it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Like it could have been a lot worse. I really thought this could have been a hundred dollars. Like I could have, I could see them putting that price tag on this, but Minecraft generally, I think is pretty well priced and valued, but obviously I have to show you what makes the warden spawn. All right. So down here, we've got a bunch of skulk, a soul torch there. You're going to see a couple scattered throughout the set, but then we've also got a, a bit of the veins. I think that's what all these little um, studs are meant to represent, just the texture of that. You could see it here, how it's spread to this block. Same with that block over there. You do have a skulk catalyst here. It's a very simple build. You can sort of move them around if you want to, um, but you do get two of them. You'll see, you can see the other one right up top there. Again, uh, some of the veins, you've got the skulk sensors and the way that these are built is really cool. I, I like these tooth pieces here in teal. I think that works really well for that. It probably should be dark blue, but again, they're trying to add a bit of color here in a, in a deep dark build. You know what I mean? I think it's fine. Again, some more skulk, skulk veins spreading in over here towards this tower build. You've got a block of TNT as well as a skull, which do spawn in the actual ancient cities. And just to take one step back here so you could see this thing. I don't know if you saw before I was moving it. It's wobbly. It is a, meant to do that. Trust me, it's a play feature. It's loosely built so that you can explode it there with the TNT. So what you do here is you just push there and it completely falls apart. Now, it's really interesting how they've done that. They have this bit hollowed out. So what you do is I'm not going to do it in the correct order because um, it's a, a lot of work to make sure that everything is following the right way that the studs <laughs> from the skulk is facing the right way i did that before anyways here the tower little thing the turret really easy to reassemble there and again very wobbly as you're moving it around but you just push either on the ingots or this and it just topples on over i think that's a cool play feature there simple all right moving on now we're, we're back to this spot this is really interesting this is what is called in the game files small portal statue so it's neat that they've got this included. We don't have the large portal, which I'll talk about towards the end of like what I would have liked to see in the set. We're going to come back to that in a second as well. Got a torch on the top. This is incredible here. This is the Skulk Screechers, Shriekers. And the fact that we have printed souls in a Lego set, like that's crazy to me. I, I, wow. 
uh, incredible. This piece as well, it's used to for the shulkers as well uh, in the end set from this wave. So it's just such a cool piece. Also, uh, I've seen a lot of people say, you know, it'll be used for like a table or something as well. Very easy to do. This bit here, I think, gives you a really good sense of like how the veins and everything is spreading the skulk. I think that's great. Um, spinning it around over here, we've got some candles, some of the first candles there uh, as you move your way towards the big build soul torch there and then inside of the new minecraft chest which i love a lot this incredible piece how they're flat now we've got a potion as well as if we pour it all out we've got a bone included as well as some snowballs now here's where things get interesting um up here we've got these little entrance ways i, I like the candles as well out in the front uh, neat I'm not sure what this texture is meant to represent here with the black and the gray. It could be deep slate, but then where has that been for the rest of the set? Uh, up top here, we've got soul fire and not as much as we need to have like the giant portal. We've got uh, some more candles and everything there. With the help of the piece remover, I have taken the uh, small portal statue and you could put it on top there. And just zooming out here, just to show you what that looks like, I, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, also, I just want to talk about one last thing here, and that is that th it's spacious. Like, there's a lot of space here for the warden, which is good to chase the players around the different sections here of this ancient city build. And uh, I, I, again, it's nice that it's spacious. At the same time, it, it probably shouldn't be. Like, it would be nice if there was a little bit more structures or something. It's still really awesome. So here's the warden, and I'm not kidding when I say this, I could talk about him nonstop for like a whole video's worth. The posability in this, it's just so emotive, and they've captured him so well. I know that some people have problems with the colors. I, I, I'm not a fan of like, there's no soul on the one side. It's the same print just repeated, so we don't get that soul. Sort of frustrating, but I get it, save costs and all that. Yeah, the colors, not necessarily the ones I would pick, but let me just show you the functionality of it. So as he spawns in, right, the the, the hands and everything, the body, like, like look at that. L look at the posability here that you could do with this. And even, you know, when he's about to attack, you can lean him forward to have him scream and then lurch forward. Like, that's just so cool. Obviously, you can hit with it as well. The head, the posability of this, like, it's just, it's so emotive. It's really creepy that way. Like, like, look at, look, look at that. Like, I, I don't know. The back as well, it, it's pretty complete. Like, you can't really see, covers up a lot of the joints and all that. I think that's pretty great. This is genuinely one of my favorite Minecraft mobs we've ever gotten. Now we're going to look at the skins. This is the Arbalist Knight. And in our haste and excitement of having finally and i i'm beyond excited to have a hoe included perfect for this an enchanted one i didn't even notice <laughs> there's an enchanted crossbow for the first time here as well which is great like i'm so happy but man i don't even care as much about that like this is finally here after almost 10 years of the minifigure minecraft theme it's it's here got a cool quiver on the back i love that a lot as well as the front torso printing is very detailed i like the face just sort of how it's got like a hood really awesome looking skin and excellent accessories here's the netherite knight I love this figure as well. Like, first of all, the shield and the netherite sword's really cool. I'm still waiting on that enchanted netherite helmet. I know that we just recently got this helmet, but it'd be so great to get um, that new piece there in that color. I, I really love the shine of it, and using the gunmetal gray, I think, is excellent. Removing the gear, though, the torso, you know, it doesn't have really too much detail in terms of it being a knight. I like the little chest pouch there on the front. That's great. The back torso printing is awesome. But I, my favorite thing about this figure is the head printing. Like, I love how you got the beard and everything, but the helmet actually printed on the skin is so cool. Well, they have it, everyone. That is my review of the Deep Dark Battle set. Uh, an unexpected surprise to that just came out of nowhere and i'm so happy about this everything we get in it like we've been waiting for this for a while now the warden should have been added in the game a long time ago right and uh so this could have been in development for a bit no because the ancient cities but anyways love this the skins are great the warden's 
so fun. All the new blocks in this for the first time is really great. Here's my criticism, my nitpickiness of this. So first of all, the warden colors, like everyone says, but I would go and say just small things like the snowballs technically shouldn't be in that chest since it's only in like the icy ones that's not included here. Again, it's just very open. I look at the chances here of getting like the shards and the music discs and hoping that we could have gotten that. I also look at like when's the next time we'll get an ancient city or something like that. I guess if they ever update the game with the portal, but would the warden remain exclusive to the set? Would they put them in that set? But anyways, what do you think of the set? That's really what matters. And I would love it if you would check out the other reviews for 2023 Minecraft sets. We got some really great sets we've looked at here on the channel already. Still waiting on two other ones, trying to get my hands on those. So stay tuned for that. And also we got some leaks for the summer sets. So I'll link that along with the playlist of all the other reviews at the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.